Hello friends, welcome into NFL Daily, made possible by our friends over at Manscaped. Head over to manscaped.com slash chat and you can save 20% off and get free shipping on all of their great products. On today's video, we're taking a look at the NFC playoff picture where in an unusual year, yes, four teams have officially secured a playoff spot, but none of those four teams are actually locked into a seed. This is what the NFL wants. Every single team has something to play for in Week 17. As of right now, Green Bay, the NFC North champions, are in the driver's seat to get the number one seed and the only bye in this year's playoffs for the NFC. Saints and Seahawks still competing. The NFC East is a mess, and Washington, Dallas, and the Giants all fighting for that spot. The Bucks are the lone team to secure a wild card spot. And then two of these three teams will find their way in the postseason this year. The Rams, the Bears, or the Arizona Cardinals. So it should be a fun Week 17. So now we're going to break down each team and check in in terms of where they're at with the possibility of where they're going to be seen. What they need to do. Can they get to one or two or three or whatever? Before we do that, though, let me know in the comments section who you think the best team in the NFC is. Get your votes in for me in the comments section. Now, I think the most votes are going to go to the Green Bay Packers. They are on the verge of getting the very coveted buy and number one seed, home field advantage, all of that stuff. They get that number one seed with a win or a Seahawks loss, and they clinch at least the number two seed, with a Saints loss, by the way. So Green Bay taking on the Bears. And if they play like they did last week, they're going to secure that number one overall seed. Aaron Rodgers, 21-25, four touchdowns. How about Devontae Adams? Absolutely going off. Green Bay right now looking like one of not just the best teams in the NFC, but in the NFL. All right, the number two seed as we sit right now, the New Orleans Saints, obviously, all three of these teams we're going to discuss are at least locking in that number three seed because NFC East is bad, right? The Saints secure that number one seed with a win and a Packers loss and a Seahawks loss. They secure the number two seed with a win or if Seattle just out rather, which makes plenty of sense there. Now we're going through the NFC playoff picture right now because the Monday Night Football game featuring the Bills will have a significant impact on the AFC playoff picture. So that's going to come out tomorrow. If you want that video, I'll just hit that big red button and subscribe today. All right, the number one seed path for Seattle. They win, the Packers lose, and the Saints lose. They need all three of those things. To get the number two seed, they must win and get a loss from either Green Bay or the New Orleans Saints. They take on the 49ers in Week 17, who seem to be having some fun playing spoiler this season. Just ask the Arizona Cardinals. So who ends up getting that number one overall seed then? Type GB for the Green Bay Packers, NO for the New Orleans Saints, or SEA for the Seattle Seahawks. This will be the pinned comment on today's video. So if you get the ad break here on YouTube, scroll on down and get your votes in. All right, number four currently, the Washington football team, who maybe they get Alex Smith back at quarterback next week. If not, it's going to be Taylor Henneke. Oh, goodness, Washington, not exactly ideal there. But they're in a very easy-ish situation. All they got to do to secure the NFC East and go 7-9 and win the division and run R Rivera's first year as head coach is beat Philadelphia, a team with nothing to play for. They have been eliminated thanks to their Week 16 loss. If they beat Philadelphia, they win the division. That is all they have to do. If they lose, though, they are eliminated. So who you got winning the NFC East? There are three teams alive still, somehow. Washington, type in a W. Cowboys, type in D for Dallas. Or the Giants, type in N for New York. Washington makes the most sense, but we'll see what happens on Sunday. All right, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers back in the postseason for the first time in a long time. Worst case scenario, they will finish with the number six seed 
in the NFC wild card or in, in, in NFC playoff race. If they can get the number five seed and get the right to play the NFC East winner, or I should say NFC East not loser, with a win or a Rams loss, and they're playing a pretty bad Falcons team. It should be number five from Tampa, but as we've seen this year, well, crazy stuff has a tendency to happen. Now, if you're trying to take care of your stuff down there and look a little bit better, a little bit bigger at times, too, head over to Manscaped. Go to manscaped.com slash chat. That link will save you 20% off and get you free shipping on all of their great products, including the Lawn Mower 3.0. It's the single best men's grooming tool out there. It doesn't tug. It doesn't cut. It, it doesn't pull. And it just trims up everything and makes it look a little bit bigger. Just ask my wife manscaped.com slash chat that links in the comments and in the description 20 percent off and free shipping when you use that url all right number six the la rams who they might not have jared goff uh -huh. it might be john wolford because 2020 is weird man they clinch a playoff spot with a win or a bears loss in the event that the rams lose and chicago wins they're out now, their seeding is actually kind of easy. A win plus a Bucks loss gets them the number five seed. Number six seed with a win, the number seven seed if the Bears end up losing. They host, by the way, the Arizona Cardinals in week 17 in a game where a very unique situation where there are three teams battling for two spots and all three teams actually control their own destiny. Arizona, 8-7, and seven, blew it against the Niners last, or I should say yesterday, should have gone Saturday. They got to win. If they win, they're in. If they lose, yeah, I'll get to them here in a little bit. So who do you have in this game? Type 1 for the LA Rams, who might not have Jared Goff. And type 2 for the Arizona Cardinals. I think one of the best games in that afternoon slot on Sunday. A pivotal matchup for both teams, of course. Led by Mitchell Trubisky, the Bears are back. Remember when they started the year great and then kind of collapsed and now they figured it back out? The Bears are now in a position to get a playoff berth. They clinch a playoff spot with a win, but they play Green Bay, fighting for the number one seed. Oh, that's tough for Chicago. But if the Arizona Cardinals lose, they also get in. But at the same time, this is your boy. I checked it five times. I was so confused by it. To get the number six seed... The Bears have to win and hope the Rams win. So in the end, the Bears are probably hoping for the Arizona Cardinals to lose, to secure a playoff spot no matter what. But if the Rams lose, it's just it's absolute chaos right there, my friend. So it's all, it's all chaos in terms of the, the Rams-Cardinals games could help the Bears either way, but they should just take care of business and just beat the Packers there. All right, so the first team on the outside looking in, right, the Arizona Cardinals. Clinch a playoff spot with a win. They lose, they're out. They can get the number six seed, by the way, with a win and a Chicago Bears loss. They play the Rams in week 17, but one of those wildcard teams, even with the expanded postseason, is going to be on the outside looking in. So who will miss the playoffs? Type R for the Rams, B for the Bears, or C for the Arizona Cardinals. We'll wrap things up now with the NFC East. The Cowboys, winners of three straight, are somehow alive, even though I had written them off for dead weeks ago. They clinched the NFC East with a win and a Washington football team loss. They, of course, go visit the New York Giants in Week 17 and kind of a almost brutal situation for both of these teams. Whoever wins is still alive. And then they got to wait till Sunday football to see if they're going to make the postseason because it's going to depend on Washington for these two teams. Winners eliminated. Loser waits a couple hours to see if they get to make the playoffs or not. And then there's the Giants who, fun fact, based on the odds, action percentages using you know, all, all the, the nerd math and stuff, have better chance of making postseason than Dallas because they're playing at home. And they clinch the NFC East just like Dallas with a win and a Washington football loss. If that happens... History will be made. No team in NFL history has won a division at 6-10. But if things go that way for the Giants, they'll be the first ones to do it.